I've been called an everyday hero. And I worry about trivializing heroes because what I did took no special bravery. I shed no blood. I paid no high price. Maybe it had to do with where I was in my life. You know, I was, uh, I was ready to die. There is no man more free than somebody who has nothing more to lose. Rob Topolsky is the everyman who started one of the most important communications policy debates that's happened in Washington in a decade. It's funny because when I first found this issue, it wasn't all that important to me. I saw a technical problem out there and characterized it and described it so that people could solve the problem. And that's all I've done. Good morning, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. The first item presented for your consideration is an order that examines whether it is a reasonable network management practice for Comcast to interfere with its customers' use of peer-to-peer -peer networking applications or whether this practice runs afoul of federal internet policy. One Comcast customer, Robert Topolsky, conducted numerous tests and reported that the level of interference with his use of peer-to-peer -peer applications was approximately equal regardless of the time of day or night, regardless of the day of the week, during prime time and non-prime time hours of use. Comcast wasn't evil in what they were trying to do. What they've done, however, since then has been evil. Comcast's past failure to disclose the practice to its customers has compounded the harm. They've lied about what they were doing. They flat out said, we're not blocking access to any application and we don't throttle any traffic. But my own tests show that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day that I test, the level of interference is the same. So unless the internet is somehow equally congested at all times, then what they said wasn't true. They're doing it in a way that most people wouldn't detect, so they don't know to complain. The Great Firewall of China used exactly this method to do censorship. When people in China are looking at certain websites outside of China that have anti-government messages on it, the Chinese Firewall detects that and sends the reset message. It forges this reset message. In layman's terms, Comcast opens its customer's mail because it wants to deliver mail not based on the address on the envelope, but on the type of letter contained therein. I posted my results on the internet. When I posted my results, it wasn't the, this is a free speech issue, you know, it was more, here's a weird technical thing that's happening on the net that we didn't know about. I'm not easily prone to conspiracies and don't want to wear the tinfoil hat or anything like that, but the events, they speak for themselves.